हे एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल आई एम विपुल गुप्ता सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल थैंक यू सो मच फॉर शोइंग सो मच सपोर्ट एंड लव टू दिस इंटरव्यू प्रिपरेशन सीरीज आई बिन रिसीविंग सो मेनी मैसेजेस ऑन माई लिंक इन एंड इंस्टाग्राम हैंडल दैट इट इज हेल्पिंग यू गायज विद योर इंटरव्यू प्रिपरेशन एंड इट मेक्स मी फील सो प्राउड एंड ग्लैड एट द सेम टाइम दैट इट इज हेल्पिंग यू गायज टू क्रैक इंटरव्यूज सो गायज कीप ऑन शोइंग यूर सपोर्ट एंड लव बाई लाइकिंग एंड शेयरिंग दिस वीडियोज एंड डो नॉट फोर गेट टू सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल for more videos like this so guys today i am back with another interview problem in terms of complexity we can say it is an easy problem but easy problems are equally important as whenever you are appearing for any online sql test so you can expect 20 to 30% of the easy problems also this problem has been part of meta's interview so i thought of making a video on this so let's get started so first of all let's understand the problem The title of this problem is most lucrative products. So I'll be reading the problem for you guys. So basically, in this problem, the ask is that you have been asked to find the five most lucrative products in terms of total revenue for the first half of 2022. That is from January to June. So based on the problem, let me make some quick notes for further reference. So as per the problem, in the final output, what do we want to print? we want to print the id and the total revenue so id is id is the product id so i can write select product and total revenue second thing is filter so basically we just want those project uh, those products which are lucrative from january to june in terms of revenue so i can write filter as jan to june now we want to order our output with respect to the revenue so i'll be writing order by revenue then we have been asked to find only five most lucrative products so i'll be writing the limit as 5 right so now we are good with the pointers now quickly understand or explore the data set that we have so in this problem we just have only one data set the name of the table is online underscore orders so let's let's explore it quickly so here we have six data points the first one is product id then we have promotion id then we have cost in dollars customer id date and unit sold so the point to be noted here is that we do not have any column or any data point with the revenue thing so we need to calculate that now in order to calculate that we would be needing the cost and the number of units sold and both the columns are available in the data set so we can use it to calculate the revenue so now quickly let's start with the solution so select in the select section what do we want we want product product id then we want revenue but we do not have revenue so in order to calculate that we need to write a expression so we want cost in dollars and the units sold so by multiplying the number of units sold by with the cost in dollars we can get the total revenue and by taking this sum across the products we can uh, we can get the total revenue for a particular period from the name of the table is online orders now here the catch is we just want the data for the first half we do not want the data from july to december we just want the data from jan to june so where and in this month function we need to pass the date column so month date so by using this month function and passing the date as a parameter we'll be getting the month number and since we just want the data for the first half of 2022 then we can use between 1 and 6 so basically what we are doing here we are filtering our data set for all those transactions which have been happened in the month of january till june now 
we have used a sum function that is an aggregate function so we need to provide a group by now we want this sum with respect to the product id so i'll be writing group by product underscore id so it will give me sum across product id now we just want the top five lucrative products in terms of revenue so basically first of all we need to order our data with respect to the revenue so for that i'll be using subquery here so in the final output we want select product underscore id and revenue from so i'll be passing this part as a sub query here and let me give it an alias so i'm using a order by i want to order this with respect to the revenue in the descending order so i will be using order by revenue descending and since we just want top five products so i will be using limit here so limit five now let's execute this to see the output all right so now in the output table we are getting five products and the corresponding revenue so this way we can implement a sub query and we can solve this problem so guys i hope you like this video and if you like this video please do share keep on sharing this video and do not forget to subscribe also i am repeating this thing if you have any more question and you want me to make videos on that please do share it in the comment section or you can reach out to me on my gmail instagram linkedin or any other platform that suits you you can find the details in the description below thank you for watching